you don't want to, you know, submerge it and you don't want to pour a hose on top of it. Look at that. Basically, they took their power chair, the back end of it, and they add, made this into a mobility scooter. So if you're traveling a lot, you're gonna be in places where water's gonna come on you. This is XP5 rated. Let's get to unboxing this um, scooter. I'm gonna tell you all about it. We're gonna have a lot of videos on this, a lot of accessory videos, and we're very excited to have it. it holds up to 325 pounds, goes about miles, five miles per hour. And uh, I really think you're gonna love this scooter. Um, it's not gonna be a really cheap scooter, but it's gonna be a really dependable scooter. And it's gonna come in in two boxes. The first time unboxing this, so you're gonna be doing the same thing. So hopefully this video will help you. So right here is your seat. So what's cool about this scooter, it is a swivel seat. You can do some adjustments here on the seat as you see right into here. You can adjust the depth of this seat pretty easily. The cushion will come with it. This is a mesh backing. This is a nice little handle. It's not very heavy, uh, but it does have a swivel seat and you also have the dock back here for accessories like a basket, auction holder, whatever it could be. Let's get that seat out and it'll come with a cushion. If you have a customized cushion or any other cushion, you can add that to it. Um, it's packaged very well. Here's your back end. This is your motor. This motor is coming out of the Toyota factories and the bearings. So here's what the back end looks like. Just like the CI, the spring suspensions. This is your free will, disassembles places to grab it. I'm not sure exactly the weight of that, but it's manageable. It's not super light. Look how big these wheels are. 10 inches. Very powerful, very nice motors. Holds up to 325 pounds. And I'm thinking this might be all that's left in this box. Nope. Once you remove this, here is your basket that comes standard with it. This basket will go underneath the seat. They are gonna have extra baskets for the front. And then again, you can put a basket at the back. But here's your basket. And your armrest. So it will have armrests for your seat that are adjustable in width. And they are flip back. So not really padded, kind of a plastic. Um, so. That's that. And your cushion, your standard cushion is right here. And it's nice, has a nice cover on it. Probably a waterproof cover because this is a waterproof scooter. Looks like you can remove this if you need it to. But again, if you don't like this cushion, you can put just about any cushion on that seat. So that's the first box. Very nice box. You can save this for Whatever, I mean, this is a heavy duty, nice box. I save these boxes all the time. All right, let me just show you how the seat goes together. Super easy. It's Velcro, there's Velcro again. You can adjust the depth right here by loosening that. We'll show you how that works. Just drop that right on, there you go. Back here's your arm. If you don't need the armrest, you can leave it off. It will make this unit lighter, the seat part lighter. But how this would work is, I'm gonna have to get some tools. You'll have to back these out on both sides, and then you can add this into it. And it looks like there's a chance that we can adjust the height of this too, which is nice, but you do have to use a couple tools, and there might be tools in this box or, um, you should have this, these tools around the house. So let's get to the next box real quick. All 
All right, this, hey, this is Bluetooth. So um, we'll show you all that just like the other one. Here's the, um, here's will be your manual. It's a QR code. You'll have to scan that. You'll have your manual. You can also download the app and it'll also give you a lot of user instructions in the app. So let's we'll pull this stuff out and save this for later. Here's your battery. We already have a battery charged up, but it has a charging port right on the battery. It's FFA cleared. You can travel with this. Um, doesn't matter where you go, this thing should charge up with your charger. So wherever you're traveling to, here's your charger. This charger works for this unit. You can't buy a different charger. They have four pins instead of three pins. So you'll get a charger, you'll get a battery. Let's see what else is in here. Here are, this is very important, save this. There's your keys. This is your Bluetooth. And then these are gonna be, I'm not really sure yet, but we'll figure it out. So we're gonna put all that, save all that. And what is this? Okay, here's your seat post. So you are gonna have to do, do a little bit of work to put this together, but not much, very easy. Um, this looks like you have an adjustment with the seat height. It's with the two holes. It's pretty thick. If you wanted to make it higher, I don't know, you maybe can drill a hole in there, but you should have plenty of height with this. Here is your shroud. Since we got this one in some different colors, this is the white shroud. That's where those screws are gonna come into play. So a couple things you're gonna have to do to put this together. Um, looks like you have a, this is where your USB charging port. So once we have this completely together, we're gonna go over this unit, but this is what's coming in the box. All right, here is the unit. Now, this is your tiller. Let's see, I don't want to scratch anything. Up. All right, so we got out the box, we got everything. There's a couple things you're gonna have to do to unbox this. You saw I had a little bit of trouble taking this out the box, but really, once you get it out, get it out the box, just pull it out the box first, and then you can do this part. Comes up. Now, when this is down and locked, this doesn't move on you, so you don't have to worry about pressing the thing to make it lock. Um, this won't come out unless you release that. So that's the little, see how it's moving that? Mm -hmm. uh, and then look, you have a lot of places where you can stop this. And then you just come down and it puts it right in there. So that's really cool. Um, right now it's naked, you can see. You're gonna have to add these things to it. And uh, right here is the USB charging, or this, the, this is the C, that's the new style, which is nice on it. So you'll see this little thing right here. So I'd imagine it's gonna go this way. Uh, so kind of, kind of don't come here, kind of come up underneath here and put it there. And then on this side, you have these little, you'll see these little black things. You just pop them out and you'll see your screw holes. So with that, you're gonna add this to it. And then it kinda snaps into place. So we're just gonna add these in into the holes. If you're buying this scooter, it's you're gonna have mobility, so you should be able to do a lot of this stuff. This is a great, a lot of people are probably gonna buy in this for traveling, theme parks, if you live in a hotel, I mean, a, like downtown, make sure this cord, like a big city, getting on and off elevators because it, it's a three-wheel drive or three-wheel scooter with the 
dual motors at the back, which gives you extremely tight turning radius. Um, and people are going to worry, they're kind of worried about the three wheel configurations, but this has anti-tip stability on the side and technology to prevent this thing from tipping. So there's a lot of thought that went into this, a lot of technology. We've been waiting for the scooter for a while. And it's here. So And the best part about it is XP5 rated. So don't worry about the rainstorm. It's not going to get your scooter. It's not going to hurt this scooter at least from what they claim and we're going to test it out. Let's see if that's true. So All right, so we got that on there. So you can adjust these armrests. Get some different positionings. Tighten it back up. And then you can see that there's a width adjustment too. Because I think the seat's only like 17 by 17 depth. All right, adding these arms, you're gonna have to back this out. So plus and minus, if you want it more of like a quick disconnect, I'm sure there's knobs that we can find for this to allow you to do it with your hand. Um, especially if you're traveling, you'll probably like to be able to remove these arms pretty fast if you want to kind of um, pack your car up, you got a bunch of stuff. Slides in like that. Now, just to be honest with you, it's probably gonna be a little bit easier to put this these arms on when it's on the scooter. So, it's an unboxing and kind of do, watch this and do it a little differently. All right, so there's your arms, easy. Let's put this seat on. Put this basket on to remove it, push these in, and just pull it right out. Don't put the, take this, and you're just gonna back it out. So this is probably going to be at the back. So we're going to drop that right in here and you have different seat heights. So we're going to take it to, we'll go to the highest seat height. I usually just use my fingers and come here and tighten it up. And then now drop your seat right on it. There's your swivel. So it stops it right there. And you can go the other way. So very easy swivel seat compared to some of them. And then you're gonna put this arm on the other side. So I'll go ahead and do that. Then I'm gonna throw the battery in the back and show you how this works. I do wanna point out, if you register this unit, when you get it, we're gonna give you an extra one year warranty on the complete unit. So you'll have a two year warranty on the motor, just about everything. So check it out once you get it. Go to Will and um, send in your registration card, fill it out there. You're gonna to wanna to do that, trust me. I like that they're offering that people so now you get the longest warranty almost the longest warranty it's a very lightweight battery it just slides right back in there and push it to take it out and press that button if you're not going to ride this for a while make sure you fully charge it up that's where you charge it through leave it like this or leave it out on your seat so it won't discharge the battery this battery will last a long time not being charged 
if you don't keep it connected, but we suggest charging up maybe once a month. Key, remember it's a three wheel scooter, so it's nice to get into a unit to the side, pull this up, come around. Plenty of leg room, we'll get some measurements of this. Everyone's asking for measurements of the deck. Um, turn it on, very simple. Speed one, two, three, and four. Light, horn, forward, reverse. Um, again, you can adjust this back towards you. Let's turn the light on. And you got a backlight too, check that out. And then if you want to adjust this, again, you just pull this out, adjust it to where you want it. Watch how th this thing turns so good because it's three wheel and it's got those extra motors back there. Look at that. Quiet. You do have three different modes on this. You have your um, eco, standard, and sport. It feels like this thing's on a sport mode. Um, this is pretty nice handle. I would want it a little bit closer to me, so I'd bring this back here. Um, so this is a three-wheel scooter with dual technologies or dual motor system at the back. Watch this, this is, a, this is a handicapped bathroom, but it's tight. So I would be able to get in here. I turn the light on. I would be able to move. And usually you'll have a grab bar in all the bathrooms. So you can then transfer over. And then back. Get here. Swivel the seat back. Now this is extremely tight. I don't think there's any other scooter that would be able to do this. Now I turned it all the way down. And then you can get out. This is probably 20 pounds. I would say, give or take. Um, again, it's what's nice. The seat cushion is actually really nice, but this can be removed. You can put a different seat cushion in here. That was really nice with that water tank. This is, um, you, can, you can move this seat back to so create more depth or less depth. You have to use some tools so you can actually slide it. I like this cover on it. The battery comes out. You do have to charge the battery through here. Again, this comes down. And once you get it down, it kind of locks. You can adjust this up for seat height, forward to seat height. This lever comes up. Oh, there's my weight. Perfect, thank you. So. The specs of the weight is on the website, but we like to see if it's true to what they say. And uh, so we grab our little weight tester and let's see how I can hook this up. Let's just hook it up here. I said 20 something pounds. Let's see what this is. 26. Let's come back here. Forty, forty-three, forty-four. Look how well made this is. Look at those motors. No wires undo. Now let's check how heavy this is.
39. But what but what's nice about it is is kind of how you can grab it. I like that. Um, and how you can grab this. And then putting this back together, you see this? I'm just gonna walk that right on there. Try to get it right even. See how you met I messed it up. Bam. Now again, this is what I say, 44, 38. So you'd be able to possibly pick this up if you can pick up 80 something pounds, which I know you're probably like, well, I can't pick up that much weight. Well, you could disassemble it, but you can go there. Basket, you have to come forward and back. Drop the battery in, put the seat right on. Also, if you, uh, if you can't pick up or you don't want to take apart, but you want this scooter and you currently have a, a lift inside your car, this thing folds pretty flat. So you can get this in a lot of small cars. We have a smart lift um, that's really nice if you wanted to add it or get it in your car. Um, let's take this outside and show you your battery percentage. It's not going to drive the unit like the, uh, the Will CI does. It, um, you can turn it on and off. It's going to tell you approximately how many miles you have. You can then click on this and you can go through your eco mode, your standard mode, and your sport mode. Um, so, and then you also have this to where you can get your serial numbers and different things like that. The battery health is still 100%. You know, remaining capacity is 95%. There's your serial number. Um, I don't know, the motor power is not set, so I'm not sure what that does. You can change the language to whatever you want. So that'd be great for someone that needs it in Spanish. Um, I guess it's just on version one, so I'd imagine they're gonna update it. Here's your error code list. It just tells you what each error code is. That you had just a minute ago. 86. Is there's a ton of error codes that it might fire back at you and then you can easily look it up it's too much current over current error um, so it, it's just going up that hill is what it, it, it stops it from overloading the motor too much so Did it's an error code yeah I did the and the error code is going to show it on here it might I think it even talks to you but it's kind of low um, but this could help us out like if you had this at your house and it's written, you have the app downloaded and you call us and say, well, I'm dealing with a uh, 62 where the motor's too cold or a 48, it's the um, handle angle sensor. So there's a, there's a sensor on the angles. Um, there's a lot of different codes it will give you all through here. Battery's too hot. I mean, just whatever it might be, it's all right here. It's just super easy to diagnose and, and figure out what's wrong with it. Here's your three settings. Um, moderate acceleration and responsiveness. Look at, this is your speed up to 2.5 miles per hour. So you can actually set this, leave it there. And then all I'll have is speed up to that 2.5, but I'll be able to get it lower or faster to a max speed of 2.5. And then right here, standard mode, you can get it up to five miles per hour, um, but the acceleration is gonna be a little bit different. It's not gonna be so takeoff fast, but you'll still can be able to control the speed there. And you have different gears. Two would be 2.2, .2, three would be 3.4 miles per hour, and four would be five. Then you get into sport, sharper acceleration, responsiveness. You, at one speed one is at one, two is 2.2, .2, up to five. So it's basically what it's doing is sport mode. It's kind of like putting your car in sport mode. It's just gonna take off a little bit faster. So um, oh, we're still in eco. So look how slow it is on eco, full speed. That's one. We're on four. Here's one. Here's two. Three, 
and four. So if you want your mother, your father to go this speed max inside of an independent living place would be fine. Um, I'm gonna jump it up to standard. So I'm set at one at standard mode, two, three, and four, up to five miles per hour. Now, I'm gonna set this now at sport mode. And I'm gonna set it at one. One, two, three, four. But what's cool about sport mode is watch this. So from acceleration, it takes off faster. You never want to ride a hill, but it's kind of has that stabilizer to help you. I wouldn't suggest you doing this or lean that way, but it's doing fine. It's moving through this grass. This grass is very thick. Um, it's climbing the hill. We're on a steep incline. It's not tipping over. Um, now again, I wouldn't suggest doing that, but I'm just showing you what it can do. I doubt it'll make it up this, but we'll just give it a try. So it gave me a warning. This is way too steep. This is a steep hill. I don't know if you can see this, but it did give me a warning and it told me what it was. So don't be going up. I don't think you'll, anyone's gonna go. How steep do you think this is? 35, 30. That's, it's steep. It might even be steeper than that. Look at it. I don't know. I don't know if I want to do it. No, no. This is like a Wrangler type deal. I don't even know if the Wrangler will make that. You, you can make it fast. The Pursuit made it though. So like if you're buying this for, for doing stuff like that, don't buy this unit. Um, but if you need it to get in your yard, it's really wet back here. It's, it's able to make it through this. It's real soggy, soggy and wet. And it's, it's pushing through it. I mean, this is nasty back here. You can hear it, you hear that? See how those stabilities are grabbing it, or those wheels? I mean, could you flip it over? Yeah, if you're especially max weight, could you? Yeah, but it's gonna be hard. So you're gonna find places that you're gonna run into obstacles like this. Let's see if it can handle it. Now let's see if it'll go down it. It did it. Pretty safe. Get down this grass. It's got definitely got a sensor on it when you turn. It's wet back here. Nice. Let's go take it on that steel slag and hose this thing off. All 
I'm gonna move this basket out though. All right, here's a test. It's a real test, by the way. Look, ooh, that's hot. Water. Look at that. Dang it. I took the basket off because I got stuff in here. Yeah, everything's like, water's like beating up on it. So that's pretty cool. They have something else. I need to put a towel down, but see if it works. I don't think anyone will do that. The brand new scooter at $3,200, but I wanted to show it, show it to you. They say it's XP5 rating. Hey, I can tell you, this thing rides very well through here. Especially when you're on the compact. We have really thick, still slag back here in certain spots. I'm riding it, right? I'm not worried about it tipping over on me. I'm really not. I wouldn't suggest doing this, but it's nice. Eddie. Scooter? Wow. Like have we done this to any never, other scooter? Never. Oh, that's huh? good. Wow. Doesn't Isn't that get, cool? Doesn't mess up the electronics. It says it's not. I mean, I wouldn't get it down in your battery connections and stuff, but look at that. Very good. And this is the place to get them. So if you like this scooter, give us a call at 803-926-2224. Visit us online, search bar RI at affordablemedicalusa.com.